All right. You guys are not gonna believe this, but it's 100% true. We first met. I was so bored one day, right? I was like really bored. My friends were out. I didn't have anybody to hang out with. So I said, you know what? Let's go to google.com, right? I typed chat. And the first thing that came out was like a video chat. So I just went in there, you know, I was just chilling there, seeing who's there and whatnot. And then I see this girl with blonde hair, blue eyes. She was on public cam on uh, over there. You could, you could make a public cam on that chat, which everybody on the chat would see you. So everybody was sending her like crazy PM messages. Like she was getting flooded by like a hundred messages a minute. So it wasn't Omeg, it wasn't U M Glee, whatever you call that chat. It wasn't chat roulette. I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> All right, maybe you guys can find your wives and you know girlfriends you know you never know man anyways I saw her on cam <coughs> and she was getting flooded right so I sent her a message she kept closing my window because on that chat you could see when people close the windows like if you send a message to that person and she closes the window the chat will tell you on a pop-up oh this person closed the window so I just kept you know I kept trying and trying I was like you know what this girl is so cute so hot that I'm gonna just keep messaging her and then I messaged her with a private cam I turned on my cam on that private chat thing she saw me for the first time and she was like what are you doing here I was like what do you mean what am I doing here I've only seen like some crazy people here like pedophiles and stuff like that you find crazy people in that chat believe me like people like you know beating their little meat whatever you find those everywhere in that chat so that's it's crazy stuff if you wanna go there you're gonna you're gonna lose your eye virginity man Anyways, I made the cam, and she saw me for the first time, and I saw her a little more. And at the time, she was studying in London. She was doing her college, learning how to speak English, because she's from Europe. Uh, she was born. Well, she's born. She was born in Hungary, and she lived in Switzerland for most of her life. And you know. Uh, she was studying in London, so uh, we had a really difficult time to s to try to talk to each other because she wouldn't really understand what I was saying, and I wouldn't really understand what she was saying. So we would only pretty much do like hand signals and stuff like that, you know, on the cam. We were like, you know, like, hey, what's up, and stuff like that. And turns out that she asked me for my MSN Messenger. I don't know if you guys used that, you know, that was like four years ago, MSN Messenger. <coughs> So, after that, she had to leave, and I said, oh, you know what, this chick, this chick is not interested. I was like, oh, whatever. Next day, she wrote me a message on the MSN Messenger, and we just kept on talking for, like, days, nights, nonstop. We would talk for, like, 24 hours. She would literally stay up and not get sleep, like how I'm doing it right now, not get any sleep and go to, go to college, man. It's crazy stuff and then she started to learn English really well because I was you know talking to her every day and she was going to to learn how to speak English on, on the UK and we just pretty much connected from there on because she was learning English from me I was teaching her and, and we just started developing feelings for each other and I felt so stupid at the time because I never thought I would fall in love with a chick that I never even met in person that you only see a picture like how you're seeing me right now you must think to yourself that's crazy shit right so turns out that we talk for like believe it or not for about a year on the internet we had like a relationship going on right like we treated each other as like boyfriend and girlfriend kind of thing so one day after she graduated from the UK with her college and whatnot and she had her English diploma and whatnot she was like you know what it's time to take it to the next level she's like let's I'm gonna probably go to you and meet you and I was like I was shit in my pants even though I was like in love with this girl with her you know I was like I was just shitting my pants I didn't know how to react to that it was for me I was so used to just talking to her on the computer 
and now it's gonna be the real thing right so she came and the first time I saw her I was like wow I was like holy shit is this real like you know you talk to a person for over a, almost a year on the internet you get to know her and she got to know me she knew everything about me everything about my family everything about me that I did in the past I knew everything about that she did in the past and whatnot we treated each other like a real couple and then when we met it was like a connection that we immediately all these feelings that we have for each other immediately just came out and it just a couple once we met again it was just crazy uh, the, the the thing that I was afraid of was when I would meet her that she wouldn't want to be with me <clears throat> because of some stupid reason you know because you never know if she's not gonna like you how you look like in person because people look way different in person than how they look in camp so I was like uh, I was afraid you know I was nervous and we were driving to my house in the car we didn't talk for the first two minutes and then I put a song on the radio and then she just started laughing and stuff like that because it was a song that that we used to make fun of all the time and believe it or not it was the Teletubby song because I was I I, I, I don't know why the fuck we, we listened to that song we just used to make fun of it okay because uh, my little brothers used to watch the Teletubbies and her little brothers used to watch the Teletubbies so we used to make fun of them and and I made a CD just for that just to, 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 to make her smile and laugh her ass off and we were laughing our asses off while we were driving to my place and then <clears throat> we got to my place we kissed for the first time it was I'm not I'm a guy and I'm gonna tell you that was like the craziest kiss I've I had in my entire life you might say I'm gay and not and whatnot but it, it it probably hasn't happened to you guys but it was really with feelings like you know you might say oh girls oh, are like over over saying things like oh when you kiss a guy it's so amazing this and that but when I kissed her I was like holy shit I was like wow this is real man I really love this girl and then it would it, it, it just kept on happening man like we connected like crazy and then the saddest day of my life came because she was only here she could only stay here for like two months because she had a visa right and she had to go back and I was like holy shit man I cry like a bitch man I'm telling you I cry like a little bitch I cry like a little girl like I never cried for anybody in my life before I the minute I saw her going on those gates like to take the plane I was crying like a little girl man I was like holy shit what's happening to me you know I was like what the fuck and then we kept on talking you know like like again it was back to this to the first thing you know I am a little bitch if you think so I don't care <laughs> you know that's your opinion bro we are all entitled to our own opinions anyways she went back to Switzerland right we kept on contact we kept on calling each other actually she would call me a lot and we just kept a relationship going even she had to wait six months because the US is kind of stupid like they give you like a, you can come here and visit for like two months and you have to wait six months to come back again if you're on a visa so three was it three months oh three months my bad three months anyways she came back in three months but it felt like a year I was like literally crying like a little bitch every day I would drive and I couldn't focus for shit man I, I, I would go to work and, and I would be like in some other place I was like I was like I thought these things only happened in movies and shit like that and then this was just happening to me it was like a slap in the face so how long ago was, ago was, was this it was in 2010 right 2010 and it, 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 September it's it, it just crazy man like you can meet anybody on the internet the internet it's a great tool look at what we're doing right now guys where we are using the internet to reach other people like you and me to donate to charities for kids we are saving lives man and the internet is just so powerful it's like the, the most powerful tool in the world and that's how I met my girlfriend man and now we have a baby uh, she's eight months old believe it or not it, it, life just 
life just keeps on going man and you never know when you're gonna fall in love you never know when you're gonna meet your soulmate you never know when you're gonna meet the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with uh, it just happens like that guys it's like a slap in the face so I encourage you I encourage you guys not to feel ashamed not to feel ashamed if you have a girlfriend at the moment that you never saw I mean you saw her on Kevin pictures and whatever and you talked on the phone this and that you're not getting catfish because there's a lot of guys out there that pretend to be girls they have like these pictures of girls that are like cute and whatnot and they talk to you and shit and they just waste your time you have to make sure that the person was real you have to talk to them on the phone you have to talk to them on the cam you have to make sure everything is legit and then you develop feelings for that person and if you think it's worth it to meet no matter how big the distance is I am in New York and she she wasn't in Switzerland now she's in New York just imagine that distance guys it's a whole uh, the whole Atlantic Atlantic Ocean right there uh, it's like I think 3.3 thousand miles I believe it's like 6,000 kilometers so it's a really long distance and if a little more than that it's just crazy you know that's why I wanted to share with this story with you guys and mr. dark it we got to share this story for the first time because of you and this is the best place to share it because we're doing a great thing right here we're raising money for kids and we're changing people's lives man you know that's that's what we're doing I don't do this for me man I do it for the kids I have to go to work literally in like two hours okay I haven't slept for shit I stayed up all night I kept getting DDoS fuck the haters I don't care they can DDoS me all day I didn't give up man and I still got to share my story with you guys so you guys can go ahead and donate for the kids and make the kids lives better man and any comments any questions the site I'm gonna type it right here on the chat for you guys I haven't been there in years but I'm sure it's still around it's called chat Avenue just put on Google chat Avenue and you have to go to the video chat you guys are gonna over flood that fucking chat and if you say if you go to that chat and you type this that you guys see that is true probably people still remember us because they think this shit is crazy we were the first couple on that chat if you type these two nicknames they will be like are you serious you know these two good you know these two crazy motherfuckers type those two nicknames in that chat I was comp and she was vodka okay so if you type those two ch two nicknames on that chat they're gonna be like holy shit you know those two fuckers I'm like holy shit you know what do you mean what kind of shit did my friends give you I honestly was really afraid to tell my my friends I I was like really shy you know like the hardest thing for me was to tell my parents man what the fuck would my parents think when I tell them you know I was like holy shit I don't know what to say I don't I, I try to make up stories that I met her through Facebook to make it a little bit better you know not to look like a fucking weirdo but in the end I told them the truth because I just couldn't live with it man you know I, it's better off you tell the truth to your parents and to your family because they're always gonna be there for you no matter what even if it's so embarrassing man you have to tell them the truth because if something happens to you your parents are always there so if you guys like my story go donate a dollar that's let's see how many donations can we get with that let's see how many people liked it a dollar for the story I mean you guys like the story then show me that you liked it go donate a dollar and raise some money for them